You know, Dave, the garden guy, he knows all about it. He's checking out CTS Green Waste Recycling this morning. Good morning, Dave. Good morning, Olivia. Take a look at this windrow right here. You can see what we're looking at right now. This is all green waste, and this green waste, well, it produces these beautiful fields. We're out in Santan right now. I'm with Alicia, like we talked about. We're talking about CTA, CTS Green Waste. Alicia, tell us a little bit about what you do. All right, well, CTS Green Waste Recycling basically takes in green waste from mostly local landscapers that are nearby our site. It looks like this when it first comes in. And it goes into a grinder, and we've got a full still of that grinder, right? And tell us what it looks like. It's really big and it's really loud. <laughs> it yeah. does look that way. And it <laughs> grinds it down basically in what you're looking like in the uh, debris field that we're looking at right now, right? C correct. We compost it and basically it gets spread on these fields. and. This is one of the fields uh, behind me, and this is actually owned by Jason Perry Farms, which is part of the family operation, too. That's my brother-in-law. Okay, and you can see that spreader, and what they're doing is you can see these beautiful fields. These are all alfalfa fields in here. It is incorporated into the soil itself, so they spread it around the field, work it into the soil, and then ultimately it does help out with the production of the soil. Is that right? It does. We're seeing improved crop vitality. We're seeing improved water retention, which is really important in the desert. Okay, and so what it does is it actually gets incorporated in the soil, reduces the water by about 10%, increases the production by about 10%, and what I heard after this, you utilize these fields for what? <laughs> well, we're growing alfalfa on this one, and uh, it's, that's part of the, uh, the feeding operation that we have. We've got a, a herd of cows that we raise for beef. And we're also taking some of the, the waste, the, the byproduct that's part of the beer making process from local Four Peaks Brewery. And um, we're feeding that to the cows as well as what's grown on our fields here. So I guess we call that sticks to steaks. Now take a look. This is what it looks like, folks. And after this, it turns into some beautiful steaks. But it's one way out here in the desert southwest. Not only are we reducing the amount of water that we need, but at the same time, we're utilizing it as a fertilizer and reducing the amount of green waste going into a lot of our landfills. So there you go, Olivia, you can do this around your own home, taking all that green waste you got in there. If you got a lawn, you've got a lot of different types of sticks, leaves, put it right back in the soil and ultimately you end up with a better yield and of course with less water needs. Real easy to do and in honor of Earth Day, this is really the way to go out here in the desert southwest. Olivia, Dave, back to you girl. I'm so happy you shared that with us. Thank you so much. He's such a good guy. He's trying to <laughs> save welcome. the world. <laughs>